Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you your February 2020 general love reading. Keep my time as fluid. These could be past, present, or future events for you. If it doesn't resonate at all, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. You could find additional messages there. Aries, I'd like to go ahead and let you know that in this and any future readings that I put out, you can now find timestamps in the description box so that you can skip from the announcements to any pre shuffle messages and even go directly to the reading itself. You might be noticing this is a very different setup than I normally do. Um, when I was getting decks out for your reading, I um, was drawn to all six of these and it had this image in my head of the layout that we're using today. And I really like the flow of it so far. I feel like it makes it a little bit longer, but it makes you guys get a lot more information. And I feel like that's really important right now, especially for the beginning of the month readings. Uh, if you don't have time, though, to sit with me through all of this, you can go ahead and skip ahead the timestamps in the description box. I do always appreciate, though, if you guys can bear with me because I'm channeling your energy. Um, and some of the announcements can be very important for you guys. I normally ask you guys on Instagram um, which deck you'd like me to use. This week I did not ask specifically because I wanted to use all six of these decks. Um, but I will be continuing to put polls up for the rest of the month. So for your Twin Flame reading, your Passion Prediction, and your U versus All Sign reading. Yeah, so definitely follow me on Instagram to like participate in any polls that I put up. process is too long, let me know and I can try and maybe pre-shuffling off camera and just having the cards laid out for you. I know a lot of you like to sit with me though, so that um, while I channel your energy, you can help um, meditate on the cards. All of the decks that we're using today will be listed in the description box. We are using the Sacred Rebels Oracle, the Vented Wisdom Oracle, the Romance Angels, the Tarot Grand Lux, the... I want to pull two cards. Okay. The um, Mystic Dreamer Tarot, the Brighter Weight Tarot. Sorry about that, my husband's playing on my toddler. So, Aries, um, sorry if you can't see all the cards, I'm going to be holding them up for you though, okay? Keep in mind, um, energies can be vice versa, so whoever you are in the story, I'm going to read it how I see it, but just apply it how it fits for you, it can't apply to Cross Watcher. We have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. This person, they feel rejected from you, Aries. They feel like you're not allowing them in. They're seeing you. Look at how he's looking at her. Male or female doesn't matter. Look at how he's looking at her. He's looking at how radiant and beautiful and single, independent, confident, just flourishing, pre-empress energy there, uh, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, really um, feeling rejected, really feeling like you're not going to accept them. And I don't think that you are because your walls are up against this individual. You don't quite trust this person. You're kind of doing your own thing right now, really working on you. This person, they're really missing you though. We have the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Death Card. We have Scorpio Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian Energy. Someone here is very emotional in regards to this connection. But whether you're male or female, Aries, I feel like this is you, King of, of Wands. Someone just really stands in their power. Someone looking really good. Um, but this Queen of Wands, again, male or female, they're very emotional over this ending that you... I feel like you stood up and really just, you know, said, you know what, no more of this. I'm doing my own thing. And now they feel rejected and ignored. And I think this person, they're missing you. They are. They're feeling the distance. They're seeing how radiant, sexy, confident you are. They're very emotional about you. Can be vice versa. With the Two of Wands, it was about making a decision. We have the Two of Swords here as well. Air energy. 
three of cups a decision had to make here i feel like you made it i feel like you decided i'm going this way i'm doing this thing i'm not I'm not going to sit in this energy of unknowing, undecided anymore. But this person wants to reconcile. They want to come back into your good graces, Aries. They want to reunite with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to close this distance. They want you to decide to take them back and accept their cup, accept their offer. Here's that cup from the divine. They're trying to give it to you. And you're just like, mm, I don't know, blocking, blocking. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you're going to take them back. <laughs> with the lovers here, I feel like. There's someone else, Aries, that you had your eye on. I, this could go at two, one of two ways. So for some of you who already has met someone else or will be meeting someone else, Gemini energy here, you've already met someone who, we have Cancer energy here too, who you've taken some time to rest and recover from events of the past and you want to charge straight ahead with this person because you feel this is divinely guided. You feel a very strong spiritual tie to this new person. So you're leaving this old person in the past. This person your walls are up against. This person you had to end things with. And they're moving towards something more fulfilling for you. And for others of you, this is your person realizing a certain truth. Really realizing in your absence. Taking that time to reflect and realizing they want to charge ahead to you. They don't want to be in separation from you. For those of you who have already moved on to another contact, um, connection, you've met somebody who... You feel a very intense attraction to. You feel very um, strongly guided to be with this person. You feel bound to this person. There's a lot of sexual energy here. Because there was too much secrets. Not enough things illuminated for you. I think you might be communicating to this past person and telling them, I found my ten of cups and there was too many secrets in the situation. You were too toxic for me. You were too toxic for me. For others of you, this is that person coming back and saying, Capricorn energy here, Pisces energy here with the moon. This is your person coming back and saying, this toxic energy, this toxic person you left behind, they're coming back and saying, listen, I know there were secrets, but I'm communicating now that I want a happily ever after with you. I want a family with you. I want a marriage with you. I want commitment with you. I want abundance with you because I see that potential there. Some of you have already moved on, though. Some of you already moved on to someone else, someone who fulfills you in a different way. Because you, you severed ties with this individual. You let that go. Now this person wants to apologize. They want to reappear from your past. This could be an ex for some of you. This could be a past life soulmate. Someone from your childhood. Someone you've known a long time. Um, this person's trying to reconcile. They're trying to get back into your good graces. They want to reunite with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want that three of cups celebration with you but i don't think you're accepting their apology or their offer because i think you've moved on to something else i think you're walking away in severing ties from the situation for others of you you might be contemplating that returning it just depends on who you are in the story it is general so you know i'm seeing a couple different possibilities here with a judgment card i feel like this person had an epiphany they had a wake-up call about you aries and who you were in their life and how significant and they want a victory with you this person wants to win you back. They want you to accept them. They're bringing you communication about this. They're bringing you communication saying, listen, you ignite my fire like no other. I feel a lot of great passion for you. I see how you know beautiful and sexy, alluring, exciting you are. You know, I'm so emotional about you. I have emotional ties to you. They want to celebrate and reconcile with you. Oh, this came out later, so we're going to take it. Nine of Swords, but you're very much in your head about reconciling with this person. You don't trust or believe this person, but this person's missing you heavily. This person, you know, there may have been some shady behavior in the past that caused you to not trust or believe this person, but you're just, you have anxiety about this person. You don't trust this person. I think you're just trying to move on to something that's more fulfilling for you. Something, I feel like for some of you, I really feel like you already met somebody who you feel a strong soulmate connection with. And with patience here, I feel like it's taking you time to really just come into your own and let this situation go and just grow on your own, following your own rhythm, being yourself, being your own person, doing your own thing, being yourself, letting go of this and just moving forward somewhere else. For some of you, I feel like you've, you've already found your Ten of Cups. That person, you've moved on from this past person and you've already found someone else. But now this person realize, is realizing too late that you're the victory, you're the win. They've had this a wake-up call, but it's too late. 
your walls are up. You've done ended things with this person. But they're trying to come back in. Keep my, it can be vice versa. Cross watcher. It can apply to you. Let me get you a couple messages here from the Romance Angels. Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I think you're working on yourself. But I feel like this person may have worked a lot. Or they may have not devoted time to you. Or this person might have been very financially dependent on you, Aries. This person might have, you know been a mooch and laid up on your couch you know like this person they're trying to get back in here like wow what a loss for me i didn't even realize what i had until it was gone but it's too late you that ship sailed wedding this situation involves marriage yeah for some of them they're already in this person you, that you separated from they were already in a connection where they were financially tied into it and they couldn't break free of it and now that you've done walked away and found what you deserve and really just coming into your own this person has like they wanted you to be patient and keep waiting and keep waiting. But you just, you, you cut the cord and you walk away from that situation. This person was financially tied into a situation. This person could have been very irresponsible with money, I'm hearing. With flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like this person is going to try to come back in and bring this communication and flirt and be playful with you. And try to make apologies and trying to keep the conversation light. But I don't think that you're really having, having it. I think you're extending your energy elsewhere to someone new. Someone that you feel great passion for. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You've done found somebody who ignites a different kind of fire in you. Someone who builds you up. Someone who matches your energy. Someone who's giving you what you want and you see potential in the future with. You're letting go of this past person because, you know, they may have taken their sweet time to disconnect from someone else and now you're moving on. For some of you, you've already met this person. For some of you, you're, you're about to meet this person. And for some of you, it could be someone from your past. It could be a past life soulmate that you're going to be meeting someone you feel a strong connection to someone who's going to you know be victorious and see your worth right away this person had to lose you to, to to find out you know what they lost this person had to miss out on the opportunity and they're heavily regretting the areas this person's regretting not giving you everything that you deserve when you walked away they're just like i don't think they thought you would put this wall up against them i thought that they thought that you would kind of always take them back or always be patient and wait on them. But you're doing your own thing now. You're being your own person. You're not standing around waiting for this individual anymore. You're letting this go. You're finding new passions in your life. You're going to be victorious elsewhere while this person wallows in self-pity that they couldn't step up to the plate and be the person that you deserved. This could be a really specific message, so definitely let me know if this is your story. I love hearing from you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can now find donation links in the description box below if you would like to contribute to the channel in that way. Please make sure to hit the notification bell. I'm going to be announcing personal readings and pr pricing soon. So um, subscribe and, and get the notification bell turned on so that you can know when I upload those video new videos. Um, I do have a schedule in the description box below. I too tend to upload early if I'm able to get them out ahead of time. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.